Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today to do a review of An Irish Country Doctor by Patrick Taylor. Now, before we get into the actual review and talking about what this book is all about, I just want to show you guys my super awesome sweatshirt that says Smart and Sassy Irish Lassie on it, um, because some of my ancestral background is Irish. I don't personally don't have a ton but I have some and I think that's cool. Um, so yeah. And it's even funnier because we're Northern Irish or so we think from the little research that we've done. And this book takes place in Northern Ireland. So it was just really, really fun and interesting to read this because it includes a lot of interesting cultural and language and historical things in here. I mean, not necessarily events, but just the characters interacting and certain uh, celebrations that they have um, during the events of this book were just fascinating. So before I launch into my normal review, which talk about the world building, the characters, the plot, and the writing, but as always before, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about what this book is about. So we have our main protagonist, whose name is Barry Larity, and he is fresh out of medical school and he is off to go to a job interview. And he is going to Northern Ireland in the county of Antrim. And he's going to this little tiny town in the country called Ballybucklebo. And so the, basically the beginning of this book is Barry is going to an interview with the town's well-renowned crotchety old doctor named Dr. O'Reilly. His full name is Dr. Fingal Flarty O'Reilly, and he is a ride, and I'll talk about him later in the video. But um, basically, this book follows Barry adjusting to country life, adjusting to dealing with Dr. O'Reilly and his crazy ideas and procedures for things, dealing with the crazy people of the town, and he also manages to find a girl to fall in love with, and uh, just kind of adjusting to life out of medical school and this crazy little country life. So launching first into the world building, this takes place in the 1960s in Northern Ireland, and there is still a lot of tension between the Protestants and the Catholics at that point, and that's touched on a fair amount in the book. Um, but for the most part, just the world building, because it's a real place and was a real period of time, was done fairly well. I was able to picture the images that the author was portraying by explaining what certain places looked like and just the overall atmosphere. And uh, I thought it was done very, very well. I mean, there's not much world building to be done, um, but I thought that for the time period that was being explained and written about, that it was done very well. Now talking a little bit about the writing. The writing was very, very easy flowing. It wasn't, it wasn't hard to get into at all. It's just kind of like falling into it and you just don't even realize there are words on the page kind of a thing. Um, is the writing the best thing I've ever read in my entire life? No, but the author captured the dialogue and the language of the people very well. I believe he actually lived there for several years. So he just did a really, really phenomenal job of writing the dialogue and just moving things along really well. Um, moving on to the plot, the plot was fine. There really, I don't want to say there really wasn't a plot, um, but this is very, very slice of life. So it was like kind of talking about the, it was just really Barry adjusting to his life in Bally Buckle Bow and dealing with all of the different people that he encountered and uh, going through different like um, medical things but then he also meets Patricia who is like the love interest person and there are some like little holiday things so I mean the plot was really just very laid back and you know I thought that the pacing was pretty good and um, that it was just conveyed really well 
Um, but it's kind of like hard to talk about the plot without spoiling too much. Not that there's really much to spoil, but um, there were definitely things that I liked more than others. Um, like I just, there, there was a smattering of insta love in here and I just was not digging it. Like just the romance between Barry and Patricia was just really irritating. At the beginning, it kind of managed to smooth itself out a little bit towards the end. But I was not a fan of how it was portrayed for like a large chunk of the book, especially Barry and his like just really annoying like pining for no reason. But he was just like, I don't know, it was just really annoying. That part could have not been in there and I would have loved it, you know, even more than I did. Um, but it was fine. I was able to look over it despite like cringing any time. Barry decided to wax poetic about her um but I loved the interactions between um pretty much everybody and Dr. O'Reilly like just he was my favorite okay and we'll get there in a minute but um as I said the plot was just very slice of life a lot of it was day to day with very little time jumps there was some but it was mostly just seeing a slice of what life was like in this town for that specific period of time and all of the shenanigans and chaos that happens. And now finally let's talk about the characters. The characters as always were the best part. Um, the main characters that we encountered are Barry Laverty of course and then Dr. O'Reilly also known as Fingal who I just adored. And then we had um, uh, Kinky who is also known as Mrs. Kincaid, who is uh, O'Reilly's housekeeper and cook. And we had all of the townspeople that we encountered, and all of them have a very unique story and a very, um, they add a lot to an already bright story. It's not just that there are some random side character they or a plot device even. They're really, really well fleshed out, and the relationships really get explored in a really well way so I thought that was great um and we have Patricia who is as I said the love interest she is a student at university and she's studying to be a civil engineer which during that time period was a really really difficult thing and that's something that gets talked about like actually gender roles is something that gets talked about they even talk about sexuality a little bit like not a lot but a little bit and just it was really interesting because this was written in the 60s and it takes place in the 60s and just there were a lot of really fascinating social and social issues that were discussed that I was surprised to see in a book like this um, and I really really enjoyed it. Um, O'Reilly was literally my favorite. He was a snarky, sassy, grumpy, just overall his hilarious character i loved him i loved everyone's interactions with him his backstory was interesting somewhat sad in some ways but like he just was the perfect person and i just really appreciated seeing him as you know someone who is in a similar situation to barry um you know barry was very um very rigid, very, very ethical, very much stuck in everything that he learned in medical school and he plays everything safe and by the books. And then you have Dr. O'Reilly who is kind of just very laissez-faire and relaxed and chill and everything. Um, and it's just really funny because he was just like, Barry, you need to chill and relax and whatever, listen to me and I know how to deal with these people and you don't. And it was, it was just really fun, especially as a student, for me to see because I know I'll be going through the same thing in a couple of months. Um, as I said, the other characters were really great as well. Um, I don't want to go into them too much, spoiling, but um, I loved their additions as well. As I said, Patricia was mostly unnecessary, but she was an interesting addition for the time and everything. Um, and yeah. It's just overall a really great book, really fun, really light, really adorable, and it's a series, and I'm definitely going to 
pick up the second one at some point. Uh, that's about all I've got for you today. So as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and a Goodreads, which are both linked below. And I also have other social, social media sites upon request if you'd like. And I will come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay, bye!